Hello everybody, this is Joe R. Rodriguez and I'll show you my coin collection. In this video, I'll show you dimes, pennies, quarters, and half dollars, and silver bars. I've been collecting about a year now, and I started collecting because I like coins. I like treasures. Ever since I was young, I like watching Pirates of the Caribbean, and collecting the treasures they have was pretty cool to me. So. My brother's grandfather got me in collecting. He's been a collector like for 40 years now and have over like a couple hundred thousand of dollars in silver and gold alone. This coin right here is a CCP from Russia. Well, Russia was a communist country. This coin is from 1940, if you could see it. You cannot see it. Okay. This is a very good coin of a penny. It's worth $1.69, it's 1928, and it's from San Francisco, Mint. This is a gold-plated quarter, and there's a hologram of Oklahoma. It's really neat. I pay like a dollar for this at the coin shop, in the coin place I buy in Bergen County. It's not that bad. This is an Indian cent from 1901 Philadelphia I mean, it's only worth two bucks if you could see the thing no you cannot see it this is another penny from 1929 it's, one, it's worth $1.50 and it's from 1929 San Francisco Mint I like how the coin looks it has, like, you could see everything about the coin you could see like the whole face and the circumference around it and a one cent a week penny. This is 1920, 1962. Denver's worth 15 cents. Another penny, 1928, 1932, 1905. Another Indian head. This one you can see the Indian head better. See it? This coin's are over 100 years old. It's one cent. I have another one. Now this coin right here, it's a very rare coin, and it's a it's a penny. However, this coin is so old that the date has been ruined, it's faded. So, however, if, if I was to find, if I was to have a date on this coin, it would probably be worth like a hundred and twenty bucks, like nineteen eighteen fifty six and. 60s and stuff during that time, but since there's no date, it's probably worth like about three dollars. You know, let's get on with one of my oldest coins. This is 1856, three cent silver. I paid five dollars at the place because it's plugged, it has a hole in it, a really small hole. And however, I went to my friend who's been a collector for years and he said that he could buy it off me for 25 dollars, but. It's so old that uh, I don't want to sell it. It's 1856. This is over 100 years old. It's like 140 years old and stuff. I'm not selling this. And here I have a 1970s half dollar. It's 50 cents. And it's 1970 San Francisco. This is like Min State 60. It looks dirty because the plastic's dirty. But really, this coin's really shiny. As you can see right there. This is one of my favorite dimes. It's really old. It's the Seed of Liberty, 1875, and it's that's a dime. And the date, oh yeah, I already said it, 1875. <laughs> and it's like worth around like three bucks in silver. So you could, I could probably sell it for like ten dollars. This is oh, this is a beautiful coin. So those are those dimes. 1961 San Francisco Mint is Mint State. 63, the guy told me at the coin shop. This day 63. That's a nice case right there. This is a, a, a barber dime. It's, uh, let me see, 1915. Almost 100 years old. It's a dime. It's worth like $3 alone. So right here it's about $6. This quarter. It's from 1961. It's Philadelphia. It's really cement 
state condition like 60, can be a 69, uh, like a 60, 61, 62. It's worth about $15 for the mint state condition. And the sew is worth about six bucks almost. This is this is a nice coin. It's from 1982, Philadelphia, San Francisco. I don't know what it is. It's a Washington half dollar. You can see the nice background. You can see the nice background. It's a really nice coin. Cost shiny. You can actually see the phone. Down. Oh, this is a five and a half dollar, 1961. It has a little grease at the edge. I don't know why. My father gave this to me. Still a really nice coin. It's worth about 60 bucks. It's like new thing, 61 or 62 or 63. Worth about 60 bucks, yeah. The silver, like 12 dollars. Oh, this is nice. These are silver bars. Let me put the phone down fast. Okay. This is a silver bar, pure silver. It's 1972. So this is a silver eagle. At the time when I was buying all these coins, silver was like Six seventeen dollars an ounce, and I bought this bar for twenty bucks. He charged me three dollars over price. It's okay. This silver is worth like almost forty dollars now, so I made like thirty bucks on it. No, like twenty bucks on it. Sorry. It's nice. This is a five grams of silver. It's really small. It's like the size of a just little box. Not even smaller. It's like a penny almost. Because we could get like a little bit of penny. It's a little bit big, like a quarter or something. I paid six dollars for this. It's five grand. It's not worth six dollars, I know that. It's not worth six dollars. Maybe, could be. This is just a Merry Christmas copper. I bought it because it was only like two bucks. I bought it because it came with this. And I like this thing so I could pull the silver bars in it. I purchased it. And here is like my favorite part of my collection. It is 30 Mercury Dimes with with uh, with uh, Barber Dimes and other dimes. You can see the Mercury Dime right here. The date is 1943. Most of these are the 40 range. However, this one's the oldest one. 1921, you can't see it. It's really faded, but it says 1921. And so, Roosevelt. Any dime before 1964 is 90% silver. About now, it was like three, four dollars each. Maybe five, could be. About five. So, I have 38. And I have five of them. And there's a, neat, a nice website you can go on. It's called Coin Flotation. You know, you just go over silver coin metal. You go, when, it, when you go on to the website, it says Coin Flotation. You go over to Coin. Should I right there? Go to Coin Collectors. Co oh, coin Calculator, sorry. <laughs> silver coin metal value. You move down, you go down to. See that? Uh, Let's see Mercury Dime. You don't have to be there. Let's say Mount. And I have 38 in total. And there were $87.08. There's 2.7 troy ounces. No, no, there's two in total. And each of them, are, if I had a... No, each of them are worth $3. $2.30. Wow, I thought it was worth more. Well, I was talking about when they when silver went up to fifty dollars. I remember that. That's when they were worth like four or five dollars each. So these are worth like three two dollars and thirty cents each for thirty eight of them. That's eighty three dollars, eight almost ninety dollars. See, ninety dollars, only ninety dollars right here. I spent when I first bought all these. I only spent like sixty three bucks. 
and I have this for all half dollars. It's all half dollars, you know. Any half dollar before 1964, no, 64, are 90% silver. After 1964, they're only 40% silver. Okay. Oh, nice. It's really neat. I don't want to be exact. Let's see exactly how much they're worth. Coin calculators. Silver so coin metal value. Um, just go over it. Forty percent. Gotta go over forty. And I have twelve. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And I have another one. Oh, this is still worth the same. Fourteen. This is fifteen. So just put fifteen in. This is worth seven dollars right here. So this and this. Ninety plus seventy. So one hundred and sixty dollars alone is silver. And if you grab the bars, one hundred and sixty dollars plus thirty. No, forty. That's two hundred. Let's say five hundred and five dollars alone here, not including this. That's probably like ten bucks right there. This oh I even forgot these. Wow. This is Hey, you just add this up together. This is probably like twenty five thirty bucks. So right here I have a loan is two hundred and fifty dollars. Thank you for watching. Check please check out my part two video of my other coins. In the one in the safe. Please subscribe. Thank you.